What's up, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, weirdos all across the planet. Today is the best of the rest show to get into everything that, you know, sparked my interest, but I didn't get to talk about the rest of the week. And yes, this is the same shirt that I wore yesterday. But that's because yesterday I started way behind, and by the time I got to record anything was post-workout. This is pre-workout, so... It's not going to happen again unless, well, we go and do trivia again next Wednesday, but we came in second, so it was worth it. Anyway, so don't forget that I'm on Spotify and all that, and Anchor. Get some listenings there. If you know, you don't have the time or you're driving or you know something for the video, you can always listen. Listen and follow along out there. Now, today, first thing, get into there's some real privilege going on in this joint. We're going to hit up some liberal privilege, some elite privilege, people that are really, really actually privileged in this country. It ain't my white self. That's why I have friends. And I, yeah, we're born that way. Like, well, when? When in Whitehaven did any of us or Freeland, Hazleton, Wilkes-Barre, like, was there any privilege in any of that? Like, we all sucked equally. Why? Well, I try not to talk to people, but... How about the Hunter Biden gun thing that we, you know, no one ever, I'm sure you didn't even hear about most people. No one made a real big deal about it, surprisingly. It's only, yeah, it's from 2018, so it was forever ago. But how about this? You tell me, you think, where the privilege is, okay? If it's white or if it's just elitist privilege. Let's go. Lies on this federal background check form about, you know, drug use and all that, which is, you know, federal crime. Just... Which, I might add, is also punishable with 10 years in prison and or to a $250,000 fine, which we all know he's not going to see any of. We all know it. But then his girlfriend takes said gun, drops the gun in a garbage can of a grocery store. Which I might add, the grocery store is directly, it's like apparently across the street from a school. It's a super, like, gun-free zone, make it you know even worse. Someone finds it while rummaging through the can... Thankfully, it doesn't go and do anything stupid with it, because think about how bad that would have been. And, like, nothing happened to him or her. Like, the Secret Service apparently allegedly got involved to try to help with it and try to get, like, papers for the sale and stuff from, like, the place he bought it. Like, how many levels of are you kidding me and privilege have to be involved in, like, all of this? Like, he lies on a federal background check. His girlfriend takes said gun and just... Drops it into a garbage can, and then gets found by someone else, which could have you know, turned into something bad. And, like, the Secret Service, for some reason, getting involved and going to the place where he got the gun, tried to get all that paperwork, which I'm pretty sure is actually a crime in and of itself. And, like, we get nothing. So, like, let's get to number two Cuomo. Getting the best doctors and testing and everything, you know, taking care of his family while he was sending people to their death in nursing homes and stuff. I like, never mind the sexual harassment. Like another thing came out right there of him doing that and the deaths and all that. What do you like? I bet like notice how quick they went after Trump when they knew that, you know, it was pre-planned for forever. Like their request for help that got denied. Like they, they went right after him. He was impeached the next day. Look how long it takes the state of New York to do anything with this many women, all those deaths. Like that should show you how privileged liberals are. Like a conservative guy, next day they're going after him. This mother, trucker, look how many things it took. For, okay, well now we might actually have to do something. Like that is some privilege right there if I've ever heard of it. Now just right there in this week, we can go back. Hillary and her emails in the hard drives that you know they said turn over that she whitewashed and you know, destroyed everything when the Fed gave her. Subpoenas that we get all that stuff. Look what happened to her. Nothing. Look at all the people on Epstein's list. Epstein got killed. And nothing. Everyone stopped hearing about it. Like there's like so many things that Hunter did. But now this is just the most recent with this whole gun thing. And you know nothing's going to happen from no matter how many laws he broke. Because that's how it works. Sadly. We go to Bruce Springsteen. DWI, not even DUI, driving while intoxicated. Like a 
slap on the wrist, like a small fine. They drop the other two charges right on his way. I right, keep going. I think if this was you taking, you know, lying on a federal background check form to get a gun, your girlfriend drops it in like a garbage can of a grocery store. Someone else finds it like this, like so many laws broken, let alone just a federal one for lying on the background check form. I guarantee you I wouldn't be sitting here doing this with you. Especially if I did it back in 2018. If I was you know, doing anything that you know, Cuomo is now in trouble for. Like if I did that, I wouldn't still be like, I wouldn't be able to sit here and talk to you people. Let alone like still be the governor and not been like impeached and ran up the flagpole. You know. Like he could try to deny it, but that's where the damn privilege comes in around this joint. Like, I mean, that liberal elite privilege. As you know, if we did any, I mean, think of that as one of Trump's kids. We, damn. And they probably go back and try to impeach him for that, too, because it happened when he was president. But yeah, there they are, like nothing. Boom. No one even mentions it. Now, if you don't have a problem with that, sorry. I have a problem with you because there's something drastically wrong in between your ears when it comes to that. If that doesn't bother you at all, because it should. Then we can get into Senator Kennedy of Louisiana, you know, who went on to, you know, the gun control things that, you know, the Dems are trying to push because, you know, they're just un-American crazies who have, again, elitists who have, like, armed guards protecting them all the time. But you're not allowed to have, you know, the same armed people and guns protecting yourself. Shows you what to think about you, because you know they're still going to have those people protecting them. But John Kennedy, Republican, yeah, man can talk, long drawn out. Kind of like him though. But you on that on the theory of guns, he said you don't stop drunk drivers by getting rid of all the sober ones. That right there, I mean, couldn't have put it any better to sum up what they're trying to try and make it so like you know law-abiding gun owners you now get all these rights and everything infringed upon and destroyed. Because of people being criminals. I hate to break it to you. Taking away guns out of all the law-abiding citizens' hands is not going to stop the criminals and the crazy people from getting their hands on stuff and doing really, really bad things. History has proven that. Over and over and over and over and over. This keeps happening. You know them when they don't have guns, knives, explosives. I went over it yesterday. More people got beaten to death by people literally beating them to death with these or their knees, elbows, head button them. Then from shotguns and rifles combined. Blunt objects was higher. Knives was almost double the two of them combined. It was over double, I think, the two of them combined, actually. Which means that on their own is way higher. Handguns are just noxiously higher, and yet they're not going after anything like that, but they're trying to infringe on you know, your rights. That's all it's about. It has nothing to do with you know, trying to save people, because if it was, you know, there's a lot bigger problems. But you can't, like, that was a good analogy, though. You don't stop drunk drivers by getting rid of all the sober ones. No, I personally, I mean, remember the shooting that tried to happen in that uh, church in Texas? How did it stop? The guy had a gun. Stopped him. Notice all these things happen in, like, gun-free zones, right? So, you know, schools, grocery stores, movie theaters. Like, for the most part. Yeah, restaurants where they don't want you to carry like, all these bad things happen. Like, really bad things happen in places where there are no guns a lot. I mean, I think it's much, you know, more unlikely to happen, you know. If the person going in there is like, oh, I'm going to shoot up all these people. And they know that, like, there's 20, 30, 40 armed people inside of said place. So the second they pop off a shot, like so, like they're not going to make it out of there, probably a great deterrent. Seems common sense to me. It seems basic common sense to me. I could be drastically over my head, but... I mean, you're way less likely to go in there and you know, do anything stupid when you know you're going to get taken out before you might even pull off a shot. So, I mean, I don't see where taking away, like... By infringing on rights that shall not be infringed upon, or again, thanks to Mark, shall not be questioned. That's what Pennsylvania's Constitution apparently says, which is even better. I mean, like, but it has nothing to do with that. Like, 
the more gun-free zones we make, it seems the higher the number of these things seem to be. Because it's an easy, soft target for crazy people. So how about we stop making easy, soft targets for crazy people? That sounds like a spectacular idea to me. Sadly, they're going in the exact opposite way to include Joe Biden. Yeah. Who's right now making, yeah, fighting to have all these things, yeah, done. When, yeah, for gun control and all these, like everything, when his son lied on one to get a gun, which, yeah. Like, it was your own kid did it. I mean, is it a flawed system? Yeah, every system. Like, there's going to be flaws. There's some people that just snap out one day. You know what we can do about it. But I mean, taking away guns from all the law-abiding people is just going to make a bad situation a thousand times worse. Mark my words. Like, that that's how that tends to go. Look at places where they have strict, really strict gun laws. For some reason, there seems to be lots of violent crime. Bad things happen there. Shootings, all kinds of stuff. They took away the gun unit to get legal guns off the streets in New York. Look at the shootings and everything there. Way up. Huh. If you can't get the illegal guns off the street and you, know, you disarm a lot of people, then... Anarchy runs wild all over the place. And speaking of anarchy, the big tech and all of them might have gotten themselves into some anarchy because now there's a report that I saw came out that Parler, our friends at Parler, that got to you know, the big, I mean, they were climbing like number one on the app store and everything. I mean, they were exploding up there until, you know, the January 6th thing. They took them off because Amazon dropped them and Google and Apple's shafted them and all that, and they said because, you know, they were encouraging all this. And they did. But now there's reports that they actually did alert the FBI to everything that was being said. If that's the case, their whole entire reasoning of why they took them down, all these big techs, took out, you know, their biggest competitor, you know, um, conservatively, you know, to Facebook, Twitter, Google, like all of them, because you know, they're all crazy liberals, like, I mean, if they, if they said it was because, you know, they weren't doing anything to check this stuff. Now, what if it turns out that they actually did, and they did alert the FBI, and then they turn around and shut them down anyway? Which defeats their whole entire purpose of why they did it at all. And it's amazing, because, you know, how many conspiracy theories have to fall? You know, they, oh, they're all right-wing crazies, and they never did anything. What if it turns out that they did, and they told the FBI? Like, and all the stuff that Google guys and the Apple guys and all of them said about getting rid of them and why they did it and Amazon all of them. Well, it turns out if it's like they really did alert them and they just took them out and took advantage of it and now it's backfiring. Like if you guys say you wouldn't have a problem with that, you can remove yourself from my life because you're dumb. But if they did alert them, Man, think of the antitrust. There's all kinds of stuff, like statutes and stuff that probably could get drug in there into a courtroom, and they could very easily win if they did do their job and alerted the FBI to what they saw with, you know, the violence and the planning and all that. Again, only a quick report. I know more is going to come out, but that could just blow up in all of their faces if that turns out to actually be true. Again, just on the basis of the reasoning that everyone gave for doing it. I mean, that could, like, be a nuclear bomb in Beaver Cleaverville. That could backfire gigantically. And I'm not saying I'm rooting for it, too, but, you know, if I got just smeared and shafted and screwed with all that time, like, thrown off the internet, thrown off the website, thrown off the app stores, just thrown off everything, off the world, when you're, like, ascending and you're n number one trending thing in the store social media and all that and then that happens and they shaft you and everything's gone and you have to keep doing all this fight just to rebuild and have anything like if it turns out that it was built off of false narrative them doing nothing i want to be there to see that i want to see the aftermath of that because that could be just cataclysmic hopefully which moves me on to the last thing that's cataclysmic how about you know first we'll get into you know I'm not going to get into full Biden details. That's going to be next week, a couple days, because there's a lot of it. And if I try to watch it all at once, my head's going to explode, so I need a few days. All of us do. For the little bit that he did get out of his, you know, little note cards that he read off of because he can't actually answer anything. Um, how, you know, the filibuster needs to get away 
because you know the Democrats abuse it so much, and now we can stop the minority party from doing that ever again while they're you know in power. So now the Democrats can you know, get rid of it and just run through whatever they want. Shocker. But Jim Crow, like throwing out Jim Crow, it's not Jim Crow, it's Jim Eagle. He says when it comes to that and voter ID being bigoted and racist and all this stuff. Like, um, you need an ID for what? Doctors' offices, airplanes. Taxes, getting a loan, buying it, yeah. Houses, alcohol, tobacco, firearms. I'm just going to throw ATF right out there. I mean, that's without thinking hard. Getting into the DNC this past summer. Had that photo ID for that. Like, in order to do, like, drive a car. Anything you need a valid photo ID for. So how in the hell is having one to vote to prove you know, have a real, you know, that it's really you, you have a real social security number, and you're really like a citizen? Like that can, but like, well, how the hell does that make a racist? Everyone already has one. Like, so you're saying that you know, like all black people and Hispanic people, none of them don't drive cars or have IDs or any. Like, is that what you're saying? Because that's the only way it could be racist. Like, and if you fall for it, you're just dumb. The race goes right out the equation, right out the door. You're just stupid if that's the case. But how the hell is, like, Jim Eagle? We went straight past Crow and went to ginormous, powerful, mystical beast of an eagle. Like, someone enlighten me where the hell that makes any sense. Like, I'll pay you to make that make sense for me. I don't think you can. But bigoted and racist... Like, they already have ideas to do everything else. You need an ID to do everything else. So the most important thing of our, you know, union, you know, free and fair elections, like, to make sure that, you know, everyone that can vote legally votes and having proof that you are when you need one to do anything else. Like, how the hell is that racist? It's not. At all. It's not prejudicial. It's not anything because everyone already has an ID. So how hard is it? To just do it for this, like you do everything else. Does that mean buying anything else is racist too? Like going out and having a beer, or buying a black and mild? I mean, what? Like, I mean, that's racist because you have to have an ID to do that, no matter who you are. But no, it always comes back. So, what the hell are they trying to hide? That's really what I want to know. You can tell me I'm a conspiracy theorist. You can call me whatever the hell you want. What are they trying to hide? That they always go straight to racism if we do this. What are they trying to, like, what's so bad about it? What do they know that we don't know that every time it comes up, it has, you know, comes down to it's racist and bigoted and all this to have a voter ID? What the hell are they afraid of for everyone to have to have an ID? Or do they know that they have a bunch of illegal shenanigans going on and that this would completely stop it altogether? Because it's the only one that makes sense because it sure as hell isn't racist. Unless you're stupid. There are a lot of stupid people out there too. I mean, look at the last election. Look at all the social media stuff. Look at everything. Hell, turn on MTV for the last 15, 20 years. Lots of stupid. Look at the people. Look at how many people watch the Kardashians. Thank God it's ending. Stupid people. Like all this stuff. But, man, am I getting tired of hearing them call everything from filibuster to voter ID to all that Jim Crow, Jim Eagle, racist, bigoted. Like, it's not. You need an ID to do everything else. And if you're an idiot that falls in line that, yes, it's racist, well, guess what? You're an idiot. There's no other better word for it. If you know someone that, that thinks that way, they're idiots. You probably agree with me on that. It's... There's nothing racist or bigoted about it. none of it. But it sure as hell doesn't stop anybody from going and flapping their jibs about it. So, haven't heard that phrase in a while either. Flapping your jibs, there's a good one. But, uh, yeah, like, I don't know, I don't get any of it. But, uh, like I said, I'll get into the Biden presser from yesterday with his giant note cards. And, yeah, or I knew what the questions were going to be. Everything was printed off. He just had to read the damn thing. We saw him space out a few times. Like, all that, yeah. But I'll get into that uh, next week. Yeah, need a couple days to just read over it, listen to it, and then go through everything that he said to get all the numbers and the uh, stats and everything for what he said. Um, so that's going to take a couple days. So maybe we'll do it, yeah, Monday and Tuesday on it. Yeah, just because I know there was a lot, like an hour plus or so, I think 10 questions. Well, 10 people got, asked, got to ask questions, so. There's a lot to go into that, but I mean, like, have a good weekend, I suppose, and don't do things that I do, like, you know, sit here and think about this stuff, but I mean, yeah, the best of the rest, I mean, John Kennedy's right, because 
you're not going to get rid of illegal guns and gun problems if you get rid of all law-abiding citizens' rights and all that infringe upon things. Criminals will still do criminal stuff and they'll be emboldened. Parlor might have got the shaft and might actually be able to get them. Cuomo's a scumbag. And liberals have great privilege to get away with stuff that none of us would. This is normal citizens. I mean, like, all of it. Like in Hunter Biden and this gun is just another great example. Funny how it all keeps coming out from that family, too. It's mesmerizing how scummy one group of human beings actually can be. But, you know, lots of privilege, lots across the board. Um, for all of them, you read all this stuff. So, have a good weekend. Be nice to each other. Remember, I'm on, again, one more time, I'm on Spotify. If you, need, if you prefer listening that way so you don't have to see the video and kill your phone even more, which I completely get. Um, but again, Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, Anchor, Spotify, Breaker, Pocket Cast, Public Radio, like it's all the Jesse Rosinski show across all of them. Google Podcast, can't forget that. You know, it's across the board. So it's there for every single one of them. If you want to follow along on any of those, especially the Spotify, because that's a more put together show. Yeah, the sponsors get their piece, but it's a good one. Or along, just follow along on all of them. The more follow along, the higher up I am on searches. You know, so the more we can pop up and get the more word out there. But enjoy each other's company. Have a good weekend. Hopefully your weather's nice. Nothing dumb happens. And like, share, comment, follow along. You know, tell me what you think. Comment. Message me if you want. Tell me what you want me to talk about. Do all that stuff. Um, but be nice to each other. Be kind to each other. Don't be giant douches to each other. Enjoy your weekend, and until Monday, peace.